Your local election headquarters is following a developing story. Today, Mahoning County Democratic Party Chair Dave Beatrice filed a complaint with the Ohio Elections Commission aimed at Michael Rooley. The Republican is running for Ohio Senate against Democrat John Bocheri, and tonight both sides are responding. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney live tonight in Boardman with what he's learned. Well, the complaint filed today with the Ohio Election Commission alleges that the Republican candidate for the Ohio Senate, Mike Rooley, illegally used his grocery stores, both here in Boardman and the one in Austintown, to illegally pass out campaign materials, specifically in this case, campaign signs being taken out of the store and being used as a place to distribute them. Um, Mahoning County Democratic Party Chairman Dave Beatrice issued a press release earlier this afternoon and in that release there was evidence both in the form of a videotape and also Facebook posts from Mike Rooley claiming that Rooley had violated Ohio's election laws. Now in a statement released just a short time ago, Rooley said that candidates are, per, are protected by the right of free speech and that the law cited in the complaint does not apply to the simple act of handing out signs. Now we are going to hear now from both Dave Beatrice and also Mahoning County Republican Party Chairman Mark Monroe on what they had to say about the issues. He doesn't want to obey the laws. You have to obey the laws to be a lawmaker. The Valley has a chance to have Republican representation in Columbus, something that is long overdue. And you know what? They can't stand that. They're going to do everything they can to prevent Mike Rooley from going to Columbus. Now, I also talked with the lawyer for the Ohio Election Commission who said it is unlikely that this case will be heard before Election Day. Now, the commission does not have the power to take a candidate's name off of the ballot. Uh, should they find something wrong in this, the worst thing that could happen is that they would turn the case over to a county prosecutor, most likely in this case the Mahoning County prosecutor, or Mike Rooley could eventually be fined anywhere between $500 and $1,000. We will have the videotape clip of the evidence that was sent to us today and also the Facebook post coming up tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in Boardman, Stan Boney, WKBN 27 First News.